In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can make a read-along book out of a book that perhaps you've recorded previously but didn't have page-turning prompts. What I have done with this book, uh, as I recorded page one, I kept recording but didn't say anything, and that's what created this dead or no sound space. And then I recorded here and did the same, No, I, I stopped speaking, let the recorder run, and created a dead sound space there. What we want to do is insert a sound in these areas that will signal the user to turn the page. So let's follow along and we'll see how this works. I'm going to position my cursor furthest left in the first no sound space. Uh, from the menu bar I'm going to select project. From the project menu I'm going to select import audio. Now if you don't have prompts or little clicks and beeps, little noises that you might want to use, you might consider going to www.findsounds.com and locate a, a suitable sound uh, for your project. But I have mine on my computer and so I'm going to use that. You would do the same once you've located your sounds. My sounds are located under here, uh, musical instruments. I'm going to use the sound drum. I'll select it and then I'll select open. What happens is a new track has been added. Here's our drum sound but it's not positioned with the cursor. An easy way to do this is to go back to project and from pro the projects menu select align tracks this time align with cursor and you'll see that my sound file moves right to where I wanted it to start just after page one in review I will do page two a little faster I'll select my cursor position import some audio select drum go back to project align tracks with cursor and there I've done it. Now I will need to replace or add those for every page separation or no sound area on my book. When I'm finished I simply export as mp3 and I have a book that's ready for students to read and follow along. And that's the end of this demonstration.